Oh, this isn't going to be a long one because it's so cold in the cave today. Um, all right, so I wanted to play about with the Pico Explorer today and uh, I want to try and run a Mandelbrot um, program on it. So uh, let's just boot up the Pico and uh, make sure I connect. I can connect to it. Hit stop. Yeah, there you go. So there's my uh, Pico Explorer sitting there. Um, there's my switch on there that works perfectly as well. However, I have to press the reset switch and this switch at the same time to make it uh, reset, but it saves unplugging that, which is pretty good. So thank you, Ben Heck. What you see on the screen is is just my hacked version of a standard Mandelbrot plotting function that I just found on the interwebs. So notice this is a... Uh, Got some different code in. This code isn't going to work for us, but I wanted to make it work on the on the Explorer. I've tried to do that. I mean, this isn't going to be a thing about how Mandelbrot's work, but basically, um, you plot a a chart which works out this Mandelbrot function, and it's all about how many times this iterates up to a maximum. Sometimes it will just repeat, and other times it will just go off into the distance it will just keep on getting bigger and bigger and bigger uh, so that's sort of how it works which I'm not going to explain about I'll put a link in the ex in the description if you want to actually see someone on number file actually explaining how this works but anyway this isn't the purpose of this video this was just to try and uh, change this this standard python code into um, code for the micropython and on this occasion I thought I'd do this on the explorer so um, if I open um, let's open and have a look and just grab one of my, in fact, I'm going to grab bubble pop because that's things that we know. So I'm just going to grab this top bit again. So nothing special, just the setup for the screen because I'll need that on it. Paste that in there. Okay. If I run this, this is very probably going to error. Oh, look at that. I love the way when this errors, the screen goes crazy. It goes like an old fashioned television. I suppose it's just because the memory is all corrupted and it's turned the display on. But uh, I love that. So anyway, what's going on here? The name image isn't defined. So yes, we understand that. That's because uh, uh, this image down, where is it? Image. This is for a different module um, on main Python, this is. So let's have a look what we need. Actually, we don't need a random for this and we don't need a timer. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm just going to use the Pico Explorer. Um, base code there so that's set it up this is variable this is the Mandelbrot function we've got the width and the height now we don't need that because width and the height come from there so let's get rid of that width and height bit um, I'm going to leave that plot window at the moment because I want to mess with that in a bit um, palette well we don't really do need the palette we don't need this image draw or image draw there either all right, so will this will this run? No, so the name draw isn't defined. So that's draw point, isn't it? How do we draw a point on this? Let's try and remember. Let's look at this other code again. Set pen and set circle. All right, so grab that. So this is the important bit here, just this draw point. So draw point X, Y and a color. So color, color, color. That makes sense. So let's just grab that color, color, color. Notice, notice straight away an issue with this. Can you see um, what the results might be because we're just using that color and color. So display circle and then we just want, really, we just want X and Y. Just in case, I'm not sure whether X and Y here are, uh, they're probably integers. Do we divide anything? I don't think we divide things there, but we don't don't divide it anywhere else. So we're probably safe. So let's put let's just put X and Y. Draw circle X. Draw circle Y. And for the moment, I'm just going to set radius equals one. I, I'm not going to use I'm not going to use a circle. I'll look up pixel in a minute. So that's. Um, that's the main program. We're not set. We're not saving Mandelbrot on this at all. So um, what do we need to do? We need to um, 
we need to set the display for each of these so what was this uh, the thing for that the draw display update okay let's copy that put that back in here so after we've drawn the circle then we uh, update the display and i think i think that's it i think that should start drawing it let's try no what have i done so the name drawer isn't defined i didn't de i didn't delete that did i let's uh let's just in fact let's just delete that completely and try that and try playing that all right so there we go that's uh generating a mandelbrot in some way so i'm just going to fast forward this because it's going to take a while to generate because it's a um, complicated bit of code i wonder if i could speed it up actually if i only updated the display after the whole y bit was done linking it with that so after a line was drawn it then update the display i wonder whether that would speed it up i'm going to start that again oh yeah it does wow No, it's slowing a bit more number crunching there. It's slowing down on that bit. That definitely speeds it up, doesn't it? So updating the display every bit in the loop actually really slows it down, which is really interesting. For some of the other um, other software that I've done looks slightly um, ever so slightly um, stretched. This does. I'll just fast forward the rest of this. So slightly stretched uh, Mandelbrot plot there, but it, it it looks good and it's relatively quick. And I mean, you did notice how much display update slows it down. It makes me wonder whether whether I should do it so that it does all the calculation and then does the display update. But we wouldn't know whether the program had stopped working. But I'm going to try that. In fact, let's try it now. Let's uh, just see how long this takes. So after it's run this loop. Once it's done that bit, which is relatively quick, it's going to uh, then uh, ping the display back on at the end. So let's run this. I'm probably just going to time this um, by the time code on the video, but let's go. Was, was that it? Did that work so quick? Wow, so updating that display it takes such a long time. That's interesting, isn't it? Can I, can I, um, or is it? Is it is it doing it that quick if I stop it? Let's try let's try clearing the screen to begin with. Where's this, the the screen clear? Um and I'll set it to well, let's set it to blue. Go away, crow. Let's set it to blue um before I run that. Which should be there, won't it? So if I red, green, blue, so one, five, five, that should make sure it starts with a blue screen. Oops, what have I done wrong? Oh, indentation error. Let's try that. Wow, so this goes so quickly and it's just that display update. That is fascinating. All right. So did you notice the issue with this anyway? That it counts the amount of iterations, gives you that M function. And the more the iterations are, the whiter it will be. Well, the higher this number will be. This is what that code does. This code that I've just got off the internet anyway, my version of it. The, the issue is that this isn't really a colour, this is just a 255 value. And if we set the same value there for everything, we'll get some form of grey or white because all the numbers are the same. So if RGB is always the same, it's a level of grey or white. So what we need to do is try and work out how to change the colour on it. I mean, uh, an, e an easy thing to do would be to say 155 there. Uh, let's set that one to naught, for instance, and then we just we just run one. So let's see what colour that gives us. Well, that's not giving me a colour at all again. Oh, so probably the colour is in with the ba with, within the boundaries, and we're not zoomed in enough for that. But uh, maybe that's the way that we can alter that. Instead of using RGB, you can use a HSV as well, which has got a hue colour in it. So if we just pumped in this colour, became the hue value. And that would change the colour of this. But maybe that's uh, something to go do on another video. I think the other thing I was thinking of doing is up here, if I have a zoom function, let's say the zoom is one to begin with. And then each of these, I'm going to go and multiply by zoom. Um, this, this real start and real end 
I think if I remember this correctly, um, the top of the screen are the real numbers because this is plotting complex numbers and a complex number has got a real and an imaginary, whatever an imaginary number is, someone else can explain that to you. And it starts at, at minus one, I think there, and then moves its way over to full, a full blown one. If I run that again, nothing should change, which is correct. But let's, um, let's change that now to 1.5 and that should, that should zoom in a little bit. Well, it should do, but it's not working. <laughs> right, let's put this just for the sake of it, put this back there and just see whether it's still calculating it line. Oh, it is. It's definitely working on the line there. So let's bring him, bring him back and try it from just the lines. Oh yes, I'm zooming in the wrong way. Okay, so let's do it less than that. So let's say multiply it by 0 0.75. So I've, I've zoomed out by by doing above one. So let's try again. This should be a little bit closer, but of course this is quite slow, um, but it's definitely zoomed in. So let's move this across again so that that only happens at the end of the loop and run it, which should be a bit quicker. It was interesting. It doesn't seem to want to start again if I run it like that. wonder why that is. Let's go in again. Well, it works that way anyway. So notice that start bit is further towards the end of the screen and uh, let's so let's go into um, 75 let's go 65 smaller that should zoom in even more of course the more you zoom in the slower it will get so I'll just let that one let that one run out and then uh, well, we've got the color working now which is good I think maybe let's put a um because we've got that start in there let's put a what is it? While all right, yeah, so uh, definitely zoomed in on that function takes two, ah, but three were given because this is just pixel, that's it. So that should be quicker as well than a circle. I mean, if that's running, if that's running that quick, that's quick. Um, let's change the zoom 65 let's set it to 60 will that zoom in no there's something um wrong with the way i'm doing this it doesn't seem to be clearing the screen something's something's crashing somewhere along the lines because this isn't changing but anyway so that's that's playing with mandelbrot i'm going to leave it there I'm not sure what's going on wrong um with that but uh, as usual i like to leave these open-ended i enjoy your comments telling me what i've done wrong say that most of this is hacking but this uh this so this video was just taking a, a python um program that was on the internet somewhere and uh, modifying it into micro python and especially modifying it for one of these pimeroni um displays so uh i hope you enjoyed that comments below are appreciated as ever